Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square again. This time we have this form. So, I need to create a perfect square trinomial to complete the square. I need that 8 to the other side of the equation, so let's add 8 to both sides. We're left with 2x squared plus 20x. Leave a space for the C that's going to make it perfect equals 8. Now, we can't complete the square if there is a number that's not 1 in front of x squared. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. And then I'll have x squared plus 10x. Leave a space for that C that's perfect. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay. To create a um, C that is perfect, you'll take the B, 10, and you'll half it. You're going to get 5. Then you take your 5 and you square it, and you're going to get 25. So you need to add 25 to both sides of the equation to create that perfect square trinomial. Factoring the perfect square trinomials is very simple. You take the square root of x squared, it's x. You take the square root of 25, it's 5. You look right here, it's going to be a positive, and don't forget the square. And 4 plus 25 is 29. Okay, now to solve for x, I will take the square root of both sides. And that will be a positive or negative answer, remember. The square cancels the square root out, so x plus 5 is free from the radical. And 29 is not a perfect square, so I'm just going to leave it as positive or negative square root of 29. To get the x alone now, I will subtract 5 from both sides. And I have x equals the uh, positive square root of 29 minus 5, and also the negative square root of 29 minus 5. If I'd have had my graphing calculator with me, I could show you that, but I'll just have to tell you, put it in the calculator. You should get approximately 0 0.39 when the square root of 29 is positive, and you will get a negative 10.39 when the square root of 29 happens to be negative.